So the question here is, which of the following is not a toy type of greasy corbett? The options are number 1 and 2, number 11 and 12, number 13 and 14, and number 15 and 16. So, the periodontal instruments that we use, the primary purpose of these instruments are either to remove the plaque or the calculus. Therefore, we are trying to eliminate the irritating factors that is leading to the particular condition. In addition to that, all the other instruments that we use are basically in order to achieve this removal of the irritating factors and a little modification of the tooth structure as such, which would prevent further uh, lodgement of these irritating factors, that is the plaque or the calculus onto the tooth surface. So based on that, there are a set of hand instruments that are devised and one of those instruments is the greasy curvets. So the greasy curvets, if you can see over here, as opposed to the normal greasy curvets, is that it is the blade, that means the tip of the working instrument, is 50% shorter. This part is 50% shorter as compared to the normal greasy curvet. This is if this is the greasy curvet blade, the tip, the blade, sorry is 50% shorter and secondly it is curved upwards that is why it is called as a curvet as opposed to a curet. So in identification we need to remember that you have a curved blade which points upwards and it the length of the blade is about half the size of the blade of the greasy curet. So these are primarily used in order to remove the calculus from the tooth surfaces because the blade length is shorter it is able to access more interproximal areas and in places where the greasy curet was more difficult to reach. Secondly, these are a set of only four instruments. Therefore, it is much more easier to use and their application in the entire mouth is much more wider. Whereas, if you, because if you see the greasy curets, they are until they, you have a, at least numbering until 17 and 18. So, these instruments are very area specific and they cannot be used like this like one instrument can be used only in one particular area of the mouth whereas for the curvets they have reduced the number of instruments as a result of this reduction in the number of instruments the ability or ease of access into the oral cavity has become much more easier and removal of the irritating factors has also become much more easier now when we have when we come to this uh, Greasy curvets, we need to remember that they are of four different types. The first one is sub zero, then you have number one and two, then you have 11 and 12, and lastly 13 and 14. So the sub zero and one and two are used, the sub zero primarily is used for anteriors, whereas one and two is used for premolars. 11 and 12 is used for posterior teeth mesial and 13 14 is used for posterior teeth distal now coming to standard curates and their modifications if you see over here the standard curate whereas the after five if this is the length of the shank in the standard curate in the after five the length of the shank was increased that means there is an increase in the area of reach of the blade of the greasy curet. There was an increase of 3 mm so that you can reach the inaccessible areas. After that you have the mini 5 curets. These mini 5 curets what happened was if this is the length of the blade, the mini 5 curets the length of the blade was 50%. That means it was half the length of the blade of the standard curet. After that you have the micro mini 5 these micro mini 5 curates the length of the blade of the um, instrument is about 20 percent that's it okay so these were the modifications so these are the so if you see sorry this is the after 5 the mini 5 is 50 percent and the micro mini 5 is only 20 percent the width of, length of the blade is only 20 percent of that of the standard greasy curate Coming to standard greasy curates, what we need to remember is that they are a set of, initially they were a set of 14 instruments, late, sorry, yeah, 
as a seven instruments with two sides each that is why it came to 14 later on two more were added which were a modification of the first of the last two so you have one and two three and four five and six seven and eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen these were the numbers now 15 16 is a modification of 11 12 and 13 14 whereas 17 18 is a modification of the 13 14 where it has an extended shank of 3 mm also one more thing that we need to remember are periodontal maintenance curettes these periodontal maintenance curettes are a modification or the most recent modification of basic curettes the blade of Blade is 1 mm shorter and 20% thinner. Whereas the sta standard, as compared to the standard curettes, the standard curettes were had a angulation of the blade of 70 degrees, whereas these have an angulation of 60 degrees. This is one more important point that we need to remember. Lastly, we have something called as a Langer and Langer curettes. These are a, these are a marriage. That is how they have been described. They are a marriage between the uh, Gracie curates as well as the universal curates. These are classified into three types. They are a set of three instruments and the numbers are 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the 5, 6 is used for mesial and distal surfaces of anteriors. 1, 2 is used for mesial and distal of mandibular posterior teeth. Whereas 3, 4 is used for mesial and distal surfaces of maxillary posterior teeth.